In this video we're just going to run through the touch settings on the Panasonic GH6. So there's actually some quite nice features that you can um, set in in the um, additional to what we already have in, um, in the touch menu. So if we jump into the camera and we go into the, um, sorry let me get focus, get the uh, cog and then the touch settings menu. Uh, so it's the third one down, it's operation, the one that sort of has the uh, scroll wheel in it. Um, and then if we jump into that menu, we've got four options in here. Um, so the first one is fairly self-explanatory, it's just the touchscreen option. So if we turn that off now, when we come back into the camera, um, <laughs> let me just bring the ISO down a little bit there, um, you essentially can't do anything, so I can't touch the focus. Um, if I come into the menus, I can't touch any of the menus. Um, you can't really do anything. You can't, you can't sort of drag um, drag any of the tools around the screen. It, it's just completely locked off the the touch screen. Um, and you can also see, you know, these features aren't available either when that's off because they're all related to the touch screen. So let's bring that back on. I'd imagine most people probably do like the touch screen, um, unless maybe you use the eyepiece a lot. Um, and you just want to temporarily disable it so your face kind of isn't <laughs> isn't touching it whilst you're trying to do work. But you know we've got quite a nice screen for that. We can always just pull the screen out to the side and flip it, or you know th there's plenty of options to not have to disable it. Um, the next one is the touch tab. Um, for me, uh, this is sort of a familiar one to people who've used uh, the GH5, for example, or you know some of the earlier GH line cameras. Um, I, it brings up this menu down the side uh, so you can sort of just see there it's like a semi-transparent kind of menu and you can kind of flip that open it's got a few little tools in there we've got a histogram and I've got Wi-Fi and a couple of other ones um, and you can customise that with, um, with options but um, for me when you've got things like the quick menu that's just there as a button and you know I, I find this menu just really fiddly and I, I, I just don't like it so for me that one just stays off but you know you, you might find if um, you're using a tripod a lot and um, you know you, you, you find that usable to yourself then that, that could be something where you can get a whole other set of features into the camera you know and you've got a whole nother level of customization there. It's just for me, it's not really one that I find useful because I, I just find it too small and fiddly to, to kind of use properly. Um, this next one, uh, the Touch AF, um, essentially it, it's always set to on. Um, so we're looking at, um, oh, I shouldn't have focused then. We're looking at this essentially. So I can focus at the back of that tool or focus at the front just by touching and you can probably just about see that that's happening. Um, and we've got two options there. So one of them's AF and one of them's AF and AE. Um, so obviously AF is autofocus and AE is um, exposure lock, um, not exposure lock, um, a kind of like a, a auto exposure essentially. So um, you can only use this if um, you're not setting your own ISO. So if I switch that on and then I kind of use it, so we come to here, you can see the the options on, but nothing's really happening. So um, if we come into the reason is is because I I set my ISO manually. But if we come in and we drop that into auto, now what we can do, if we go to there, you probably can't see it's changing much there. But if we go to the darkest thing in the screen, you can see it brought the oh <laughs> not very good focusing. You can see it's brought the brightness uh, up a little bit, and then if we go to some of the highlights here, it'll bring it down a bit, quite a lot actually. Um, so I don't know how much you can see that on the screen, but it's it's actually changing the exposure, much like it would do on a phone. So um, you know, it, it's not something I use, but it it could be something useful if um, you know if if that was uh, sort of the way you shoot. So that's worth sort of bearing in mind that that is an option and that's there. So uh, by default, it's just on AF. Uh, and like I say, if you're in, um, if you're using a, um, any mode outside of auto, uh, it, it's not going to work anyway. So it, you could have it set on and it will still just switch on when you need it. Um, and touchpad AF. Now th this is quite a useful one. I can't really show you this on the um, uh, in this kind of setup, which is. Uh, slightly annoying but it's um, this is a really good one so um, essentially we've done the video about the viewfinder and how that works um, 
I'll link to that above, but essentially you can either use the screen, uh, so like if we're looking through the IP, so it thinks we're looking through the screen, you can see there the, uh, the viewfinder's working. Take it off, we're back to the screen. Um, what Touchpad AF does is um, it, it kind of lets you use both at the same time. So um, you, if you come up to um, into these, you've got exact and then lots of offsets. And essentially what it's saying is the bits that it's showing, it's showing lots of different corners of the screen or half a screen and then offset one is the whole screen. Um, you essentially can look through the eyepiece um, and then you can shift around on the pad to focus. So whilst you're in here, you can actually scroll around on here and it will be moving the, um, moving the uh, focus point within the camera. So much like we're doing here. So if I say drag it to there, go into here, and I'll drag it back to there. When you come off, you can see it's gone down to that point where I've just dragged it to, and we were in the um, in the EVF then. So it's um, essentially it's just letting you do that whilst you're looking through the camera. Um, the alternative to that would be using the joystick, but that's not for everyone. You know, some people still like to sort of control the screen whilst they're looking through the viewfinder. So that's um, quite a nice option there for people that like to work that way. Um, and then that's that's all of them really. I mean, but there's there's some quite nice options in there, and um, you know, little ways you can kind of extend the camera. The main one really being the um, the touchpad AF or potentially touch tab if if that's the way you like to work. But um, yeah, hopefully that's um, that's helped. And um, if it has, give the video a like. If you want to see more Panasonic GH6 content, then uh, please subscribe to the channel.